Hello and uh, welcome to this um, standalone video or extra little section about Sam Ash and the outdoor section where they've got all their pre-made machinery stored. This is m that they use with the butterfly mowers as a weapon to get ready for the outside bit. Yeah, that's a beast. As if it adds GPS and it like just works in the factory. <laughs> what a spec. Look at that. All the beds. Look at the amount of to to uh, toppers. Well, They're all on stands. <laughs> it's up like that, I'm guessing, to transport them. So if you watch the video earlier, you'll see that these are all balanced. Every bit, that'll be like, that's, that'll be for, to balance it. And rattle and destroy the bearings. Ollie's looking at the third leg. Oh yeah. Have you seen the portal black mallow there? No. 3.4 meters. So this black Sam Ash front mower, looking like a weapon, is 3.4 meters. Indicators on the front with the springs, conditioner as well. East. Ah, so these are Mashio ones. So that's for the Italian market. Give us the uh, Mashio stickers on. Oh, look at this. The year is about. Another new one produced here in Poland. So this is where everything is packed for possibly export. Some of them aren't export though, because you said it's not been heat treated, the wood. Yeah, but this one domestic. goes to, uh, this actually goes to Safir, uh, which is a German distributor. So this one belongs to Germany. Right, okay, that's, so that's, that's why that's why the wood is not heat treated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yep. it's not farming. Mm -hmm. Some of the complications we export in are immense. So, with these machines, if they're going to export like that, it will come in as a full machine. These guys will dismantle it and put it into the box because every machine is made and tested yeah. in that PDI space yeah, in that, that we've just PDI been. Station that we've been before. Yeah. So in there they've got a rake that they're taking to Italy. And then out here, jeez, just ah. more and more stuff. Oh, going to the UK there. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Look at that, loads and loads more toppers. <laughs> and then mowers, butterfly mowers, forever more. Headers. Mowers. Jeez. Honestly, the uh, the scale of this place, just the camera doesn't do it justice. And Ollie is highly impressed because everywhere's got this flooring that he loves. I love it. <laughs> so this is the um, oh, I can't remember what it was called now. Twist. That's it. So you can have that on the front of the tractor or the back of the tractor, and it rakes in the grass. Jeez, it's everywhere. Look at that, all those front mowers and tedders. I'm not going over the same bit, I promise. We're just keeping on going here. And we're going to look at the, uh, look at that, more mowers. And then even more tedders in the back. Scale, it's five hectares of this stuff. This is, these are base. So you put them on your telehandler. And you're like in a James Bond movie. What a beast for cutting hedges or cutting like down the side of them trees. Jeez, that's all right. Edge cutter, isn't it? Teeth on that. Huge. That one's bigger. That's got four. And we've come out of the yard now. The extra space. Um, Look at the amount of rakes are in here. They're all sold as well. Black edition, yeah. Even more stuff out here. Yeah. 
Samash Manny Two. Look at that. Like a side lift. It's a beast, isn't it? So we are leaving Samash behind. We've got a bit of a, a, a goodie bag here. We're going to go now and see a dairy farm, which is about an hour away, I think. So, um, yeah, we're going to head back into the passion wagon and, uh, and, and get along to there. <laughs> Ollie's hungry again. <laughs> Silage pits. Small, small, like long, narrow fields. Oh, we had some stalks down there. Oh, the stalks, yeah. So we got here to the dairy farm, we got some good clamps, full silage, there's a lot of maize grown here by the looks of it, we got some cattle down there, and in here I've seen there's a Laley sign at the far end, it's got a Laley astronaut in it, I am nearly certain, so we'll get a look around there in a second. We're running now to get the fence, <laughs> blasting past. It sounded like a weapon. Look at that. Rolling smoke. <laughs> so he's milking 120 and he's getting 1.5 million litres annually, which I think is pretty good. Like, it's fair. So obviously, you've got to take into account these sheds. They're not like our sheds where you just put that steel building. It gets down to like minus 20, minus 30 in winter. Oh, so yeah, yeah. They have to have them insulated. And, you know, yeah. I'm guessing it must get hot as well because they're massive fans. Yeah, so like in the summer, it would be 30 degrees. Like could be, degrees. could be 30, yeah. 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 Last summer, it was the last summer, the record was 43 degrees. Wow. In five days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and it's massive extremes. Down, yeah, yeah. And it could go down to minus 20, minus 25 in winter. Now, now those winters are not as severe as they used to be uh, 30 years ago, but still, because of the climate changes actually, so, so it could be minus 5, but still, the difference between winter and summer is very He has 120 cattle in here. He's got two robots, one there, one at the other side over here. Um, keeping it cool costs more in the summer than actually keeping it hot, uh, keeping it warm in, in the winter. But if we're looking at the roof, it looks like it's insulated. Um, and it's got some slats down there. Pretty similar to what you would see in the UK, apart from maybe the insulated sheds and the, the roller shutter door. Got a cow brush in the corner. What's that? Um, and they were saying that there's 14 sheds going up locally and out of those 14, 11 are going to have robots in them. So um, it seems to be the way in Poland, people are choosing to go down the robot um, route as well as in the UK. This is good though, look at this. So they've put a really smooth surface for the cattle to eat on. Makes it pushing up a lot easier. They've even got a, a, a feed pusher there in the corner. It runs along that. Um, lip. <laughs> Spent a lot with Laley here, I imagine. So just saying they have a, a separator and uh, they dry out the stuff that comes in the slats and then they can sort of reuse it on the bedding. These guys at the minute are getting 47 pence per litre for their milk, which I think's a bit higher than what we're getting in the UK. I'm not a dairy farm, so I don't know, not up to date on it, but we've just worked it out there. 
So the feed that they're putting through them is maize. Um, I think there might be a bit of grass silage in there as well. Um, some sugar beet pulp, minerals and stuff. So I was just asking um, Jake to translate for me there. Um, with the feed, they're also feeding rape meal, like um, a citrus pulp that's like a byproduct, um, the sugar beet pulp, which is also a byproduct, and um, yeah, they sort of mess to do mess around with the ration and tweak it and yeah they're not just feeding the same thing that like the granddad did or whatever they're being very progressive <laughs> what you can see is it's very progressive like um, yeah this is the forefront really of, of dairy farming when you've got a purpose-built shed that probably easier to build than in the UK because planning regulations aren't quite as strict as they are over here um, and yeah it's yeah, everything's robotic, isn't it? I mean, I've not seen how he scrapes his shed. I don't know if there's a Matty 135 hiding somewhere, but um, I've not seen it yet. It's just pushed too much there, so it keeps, it brings itself away and then carries on. So we've asked him how he, how he scrapes it out and he's pointed us up here to the robot. Uh, ah. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> the cow is um, loving that. So we, we, we think we spotted the robot scraper. Or is it a Hoover? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, it just pushes it. We've got these guys coming to see me. Nice clean. I wonder how often they stand on it. <laughs> Looks like they move out of the way. Needs a good pressure wash, doesn't it? That's like a like a lawnmower, self docking charging point. Yeah, it goes there. Yeah, yeah, it goes and charges over there. There we go. So the reason we've come to this farm is because this guy is. Uh, Samash customer. Right. Ah. Yeah, so he's had like drum mowers since, I can't remember when it was, um, like decades basically. Um, so that's where the connections right. come from to let us, uh, let us come and actually have a look around. Fantastic to see your cattle. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, they're good, aren't they? Really good. And just the amount of technology in one shed. <laughs> you should, to be fair, you wouldn't expect, uh, this is disrespectful, why yeah. you wouldn't expect to find it in a... No, no, you, you yeah. think you think that we're, you know, in the UK, we're at the forefront of yeah. um, technology. Yeah. Not the case. Like, it's all over Europe. It's, oh, yeah. So you got some of the younger stock here. In the older sheds. Some of the older sheds. King Feeder. Is it King Feeder? No, King. Zago. To mix it with the uh, ones in the bottom, I would imagine. We've got the calf huts. So these um, create its own like little environment in there, and it's the best way to fight against diseases by putting them in the little hutches. And then as they get older, they're going to. Um, Bigger hutches where there's uh, be a number of like five or six of them. But when they're young, um, it's much better for their health to be like that um, in, in one at a pen at a time. That's a huge tanker. It looks like it's not metal, doesn't it? It looks like it's a. Is it? Surely it has to be. Or is it? Thermoplastic. Or fiberglass or something. Maybe. Oh, so all, all metal in the UK, aren't they? If you watch my video of last week, you'll see I was at a factory that made them. Ah, there we go. Yes, yeah, so that's three years old. Yeah. Um, we bought that tanker, the spreader, 
um, Mark Spreader, which is the other side of that tractor. So All right. The passenger wagon uh, when he built the shed. So he just like upgraded everything uh, at that once. Scent was new in July. That's a nine thirty. Jeez. Yeah. So that tank is like five of that. It's like twenty four thousand liters or something like that. Could it, could huh? it stop, stop off that? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. In Europe, you see like Bauer makes them Euro milk. See, see, oh, the factory Simo. Yeah, yeah. They make them. They all buy the huh? same tank, just different colours. Yeah. Don't they? Uncle Simo in Munich. Yeah. It's no, weapon like, of a tank, like. Yeah. It's like the old. I don't know if you know, like the old Porsche tank. Yeah. This fence is a beast, though. Nine thirty, very are. I didn't expect to be seeing one of them in Poland, that is a beast. And then um, this for working ground up behind. And then a fancy muck spreader. Got some band wrapped around it. He's just like loose uh, to these guys. He's ordered an 84 cube Pottinger um, Forage wagon? I'm guessing it's forage wagon. 84 cube, it's huge, a triple axle. Absolute monster. I, I imagine that will be on its limit trying to pull it. Just seeing in the background there the stalks on top of the. <laughs> Samash snow plow there. When it gets down to minus 25. We need to make to the snow plow, but then we've been to the factory, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been so well looked after. <laughs> it's got a good uh, rubber really wet. sad. We're all coming in here filming your stuff. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear the roar. Flat out. Wondering why there's three people pointing down. Boost. It's all ball hitch. On there. Spread a plate on the back. Uh, I don't splash think we're plate. allowed them anymore. It's a splash plate, isn't it? It just fucking cannons it at it, doesn't it? Yeah. How big is it then? So I was just chatting to the bike and um, he farms 120 hectares. So there's a 936, there's a big new Holland pipe around the corner. <laughs> All um, this massive kit, the, yeah. the massive kit on the way. Three blokes. Yeah. 300 acres. 120 cows for milk. <laughs> and he's making money. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? There'll be like um, a few farmers at home now thinking, I'm going to buy a farm in Poland. Yeah. <laughs> so this is his um, pottinger at the moment, and then he's going to be getting a triple axle one, which is much, 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 much bigger than that. Yeah, this is 51 cube. That's 51 cube. Yeah, That's what Jake was saying. The hitches. Oh yeah, the hitch goes up there. Yeah, and then yeah. the PTO comes underneath. underneath yeah. Oh, right. huh. And then, and then you, you drive with your arms down, I guess. Yeah, and you can adjust the hitch on that. So you can. Oh, you on that ram. ramp. You twist the. Oh, like, extend the ramp so it pivots up. So it pushes the front of the wagon up. Right. So you can steep, like, climb, climb super, super bank. bank. Yeah, because they literally just drive on top of the solid clamps. What, and unload? Yeah, so you'll drive on top of the clamp and just keep driving, and the beat is on the back like a Max Brother. Right. So you, like, slowly unwind it, sort of. And just sprinkle it across the clamp. Huh. Roll it up. Jeez. So that's his second retractor. Big white block on the front. Bear beast. So as I was saying earlier, as the cars get a bit older, they get into there. So he's got a Manitou with a new silage shear grab on. It's tidy, isn't it? And there's all his bits and bobs for his feed around the place. Oh, is that a Dietje? No, Dell. Giel, Giel. 
I have heard of them. Little thing, isn't it? Yeah, they're quite small plots, really, these farms. Like, his farm goes to there and just the other side of the silage pit. It's like long and narrow. So massive thanks to this chap um, for showing us around. We are now going to get back in the um, in the passion wagon and um, head off and get something to eat this evening. It's like there's a fence just gone, gone past back up there. Um, but yeah, no, really interesting to look around here. And um, if you have liked it, remember to press the like button and, and subscribe. And um, don't everybody be running off to buy a Polish farm. Because um, me and Michael might be moving here first. We might be. <laughs> so we'll see you. Click and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. Yeah, we've got to forget. Yeah, don't forget that bit. And, and find Michael's channel. And, and, Jesus yeah. Machine. Jesus yeah. Machine. He'll have a better video because it won't be edited as poorly as mine. I've got, I've got a professional editor. You've got a professional yeah, editor. Yeah. She's brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah. There you go. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.